Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday. I thought I'd start this vlog for like a weekend vlog, but on Thursday it's like half past one now. Um, so I didn't start this morning. I'm just on my way out actually. I'm going to Oliver's school for a meeting. So, you know, just to see how he's getting on and stuff with the um, special needs teacher, basically. So I'm going there now. Maisie's here. I don't know where she's gone. She usually is trying to get out with me. But um, yeah, anyway, I thought I'd start a new vlog because I have recorded this week, but it, it didn't make any sense. I've recorded for about five minutes a day and they were, it wasn't that interesting. Um, I was a little bit unwell yesterday, so I didn't do anything yesterday. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just start afresh, a nice, weekend vlog to come out um, next week and I thought I'd start it today, Thursday. So yeah, I'm just about to go out the door. Basically I've got my keys and my phone in hand. Um, it's half past one and I have to be there for two so I'm setting up a little bit early. Um, but anyway, I don't know whether I can get back for Oscar so my dad's gonna go get Oscar and Alfie's in after school club till half past five tonight so yeah, and Mark's at work, obviously. He yeah, has been in Sheffield, so he, uh, yeah, he'll be back. I don't think very late, but he's still not in time for Oscar at three o'clock. So, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm doing that. This weekend, me and Mark want to pop to Ikea in Warrington. I know that sounds like really odd because, like, it's quite far as Warrington from us. And why don't I just get it delivered? But all I want is one... Um, one unit and a couple of boxes and a couple more boxes for this unit and the delivery costs 40 quid whereas the unit costs 40 quid and I was like I'm not spending the same amount of money on delivery as the, say, as the unit that I want when the diesel won't cost that much because my car's diesel and yeah we got all the way to Wales and back with under half a tank I think it was like a quarter of a tank or something stupid quite uh, good on fuel is my car so I thought it's not gonna cost like 40 quid to get there and back and it'll give me and Mark a day out because we can't take the kids with us because of the space in the car if you know what I mean we may be able to take one but not all of them and um, to fit the boxes in the car anyway I don't know what I'm talking about just waffling on now Um so it's half past I'm gonna go out the door now Um going to go to Oliver's school for a little meeting with his teacher to see how he's getting on and I will see you when I'm back home. Bye. Hi everyone. It is now Friday and I went to the meeting yesterday at Oliver's school. Everything's fine. It was just a, a kind of yearly review basically for his EHCP. So um, yeah, everything went fine. I got back and I went to bed early and <laughs> I forgot to record anything. Anyway, today is a busy day because um, Oscar's at a party at four. I was looking through my old vlogs the other day and literally the same exact week happened. Like I'm just showing you, I might as well just put last year's vlog up because I go to, well no I went to Home Bargains I think last year for his gift. But today I'm running out quickly because it's today and I haven't bought this kid a gift so I have to run out now to Sainsbury's. I also need some bread and stuff and um, something for tonight's tea. So I'm going to go to Sainsbury's, I'm going to go pick him up a gift. I have no idea what I'm going to buy this kid. Like, no idea. Um, you never can... Sometimes I buy books and stuff but I'm thinking I don't know what he likes or what he already has or anything. So I'm like, I don't know what to buy him. Um, so I'm going to have a look in Sainsbury's anyway, so wish me luck and I will come back and I'll show you what I get from Sainsbury's, but I'll see you in a bit anyway. Hi everyone, I got back from Sainsbury's. Bear with me, I've got the light on. So I got back from Sainsbury's. Um, this is what I got um, for presents and I got some food as well. I got a little Lego set, they were on offer, so I didn't mind spending on Lego. They're really expensive, is Lego. Um, I don't usually buy them for birthday presents for other than the kids basically because they get quite expensive but um, I got that and I also got some pom-pom 
make your own pom-pom key rings. Just like a creative thing. I got a little bag to put them in, I hope they fit, and a card. I had no idea what to get, so I just got Minecraft. Whatever. Anyway, I got some pasta salads to have tonight because we're going to have like ham sandwiches and I just thought it would be nice with like a pasta salad on the side. I got some really nice baguettes, um, two of these, really soft um, for tonight's tea. I got some little, just normal uh, white bread. I got a little one because last week I bought a big one and half of it didn't get eaten so I just thought I'll get a little one this week. I got some summer fruits, fruit and barley juice. Oliver likes fruit and barley, so I got in that. Sorry, I got hot, so I opened the back door. And um, I got a few bits for myself as well. I got some sensitive shave gel, cause it's summer now, so it's, oh, oh I'm always shaving because I'm wearing dresses and stuff. Um, I got some clear and radiant face wash by Neutrogena. It's got vitamin C and pink grapefruit. So it's quite a nice color, that. I'm easily drawn to nice packaging. Um, I got some face uh, sun cream. Um, I've got this in like a proper sun cream. Um, so I thought I'd buy the face one. It's um, SPF 50, very high protection. UVA and UVB protection. Four hour water resistant lotion. Um, we'll see how I get on with it. Sometimes I don't like when it makes my skin really shiny and greasy. I've also got this, if it focuses. It's the um, Over Makeup Super UV Protection Mist, Fact 50. So, like I said on holiday, I usually put the sun cream underneath the makeup. Um, and you need to reapply it and it's not ideal to reapply this type of sun cream on top of like foundation and stuff it just makes it oh you know, it's it makes it weird so i bought this so then halfway through the day i can spray that use that in the morning this in the afternoon or whenever um i might put it in my bag for out and about as well um i have got some i've already got some face sun cream upstairs it's more like a primer but it's only factor 30 and um, ideally I need like factor 50 especially seeing as I have that skin cancer which was caused by the sun so obviously I need to protect my skin more because I'm prone to skin cancer so yeah anyway I thought I'd buy 50 factor 50 for um, while it's really 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 sunny and hot so there we are that's what I got from Sainsbury's. I am going to put everything away and I will see you um, in a bit, in a bit. I'm going to have lunch, so I'll see you after then. Hi everyone, it is much later. I picked up Oscar from school. Uh, Mark's on his way, so P.H. Joseph. Right, Oscar is um, writing the cards for his um, friend party. This is birthday. So there we are, don't forget them, I'll put them by the front door for you. For Joseph. So yeah, Oscar's mm. come home and... Um, Mummy. Mummy. Alf, Alf, Alfie doesn't come home till half past five. Mum, so. why don't you make me party for my birthday? I don't know, I've never asked you have I? Oscar's shoe broke at school, so we're going to oh, have yeah. to buy him new shoes. I'm going to go home. So Actually, that's... grandma's shoes broke because it's Friday. Yeah, so. at least then um, we've got the weekend to get you some new ones. Anyway, out just picked up Oscar. Um, he's going to go to his party in an hour and I'm going to stay here Mark's going to take him to his party and I'm going to go collect Oscar and Alfie sorry at half past five from after school club so that's Alfie back from after school club I just went to get him um, I had to drive Mark's car because he took mine which I'm not too pleased about because I hate driving that white one um, so I had to pick him up in the white car um, yeah Mark is still at the party with Oscar and they should be coming back soon. Tonight I've decided to have a little bit of a pamper night. So we're gonna have a really simple tea. We're gonna have um, like a baguette, not the whole baguette obviously. We're gonna have a bit of the baguette, which I've just spilled everywhere. Um, and some ham. So like basically ham baguettes with some chips possibly. Um, I don't fancy any chips. I might just have some pasta salad. 
You okay, Alfie? He's raiding the food drawers because he's hungry after being at after school club. He's talking to the next door neighbour again. Anyway, so um yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting for Mark to come home and um I just need to do a few bits before tomorrow. Basically the next job on our list is to uh, clean up the fridge room so the fridge room is a mess and um, I need to clean it so this is coming out um, I don't want this anymore in here this is going into Mark's shed and I'm going to buy a yeah. unit for in there hi everyone it is Saturday I'm just checking whether I'm focused it didn't look like I was focused then it is Saturday and um, it's about 10 o'clock and I've only just come downstairs. I was pottering around upstairs, just giving it a quick tidy, had a shower. Um, Mark's popped out to a a place where you hire tools and stuff like that. Um, he wants to hire a digger. That's for the future. Um, well, for September. Uh, we're going to move the shed up at the top of the garden. So um, he needs to dig out a... A rockery and flatten the um, ground for the shed to go up to the top of the garden we also getting rid of all our stones in our driveway and getting that properly done that would be a company that actually does that um, and we're planning to recycle quite a lot of the materials that we already have in our garden to make a um, a bed in the like a flower bed thing in the front garden get rid of all the stones make it I think we're gonna tarmac it I'm not sure um, and use some of those stones elsewhere so yeah we need a digger to do this and so Mark's gone to set up an account and get a quote for that and yeah we're going to Ikea today so Oliver and Oscar have gone to Dad's and Alfie's decided that he wanted to go to Grandma's house so he's going to Grandma's house later and we're going off to Ikea. We can't have anybody in the car because it's not enough, we don't have enough room to fit the box that we need to pick up, basically. So we're going to Ikea, we're going to get a unit for the fridge room um, for like cleaning products and just like bits and bobs. There is currently um, some boxes in there, they're plastic, they're going into Mark's shed with all his tools and what have you in there so we have to do a lot of organization this weekend so when we first moved in I just shoved everything in boxes that I knew that I would need in the future but couldn't be messed organizing it at that time because there was so much stuff like so much stuff to get through so I just shoved them in boxes shoved them in there and forgot about them and now it has come round to the time that I have to sort this issue out so I'm going to go get like a unit I'm going to um, organize all the boxes in there things that go in there are like cleaning products bulk buy items like if we buy like four kitchen rolls or something you know what I mean or like washing powders and stuff that can go in there um, so yes I am going to have that for like cleaning products things like batteries and uh, light bulbs things like that and then in Mark's shed he's going to put the current boxes that are in there in his shed with all his tools and stuff hopefully by the front door so I can still access them because many times I need a screwdriver or a hammer or something um, anyway so we're going to go to Ikea and it is pouring down with rain I'm quite glad <laughs> it's been so hot this week so hot I couldn't even think it was and the the pollen count was so high and I just honestly you feel like confused or I do I feel confused my eyes are tired when they're not they just feel like gritty and tired and horrible because the pollen count was so high Hi everyone we're on our way to Ikea now we are I don't know where we are in the world we're on the M6 and we're near Wigan, apparently according to Mark. Uh, we're like 10 miles away from getting 
getting off the motorway and then I have no idea where the actual eye here is but we'll find it we've got the sat nav on anyway yeah so we're in the road works at the minute and we've just yeah it only takes an hour so we haven't been on the road for that long well you know what they say <laughs> that was a bit of a bump in the road um we went to ikea it was overwhelming like overwhelming i couldn't i couldn't think in there it was just in your face and i was like i want everything so um yeah we rushed through a few areas just because we did go there just for like two large items and a few little items so we got everything we needed that was the main thing and a fair few things that we needed that we didn't know we needed until we saw them in Ikea. So we went for a drink in the Brewers Fair that's near the motorway so um, and we had something to eat just like um, a little starter sharing starter just to keep us going um, because I haven't had any breakfast or lunch today and so halfway through Ikea I felt a little bit sick like I was gonna faint which wasn't ideal but good for our bank balance because then I couldn't look at all the excellent items there anyway we're going home now we're still in Warrington so uh, we're gonna go on the M6 and go back home which is an hour away so I'll see you when we get there hi Mark Hello. where are we in the pub where Pratt Winger. where Preston <laughs> we're in Preston because I really needed to go to the toilet. <laughs> Should have gone the before. Service station wasn't good enough. Service station wasn't good enough, so we've gone to the pub. Mm. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are on our way again. We have gone to the pub for the toilet, and now we're on our way back. We're just going from Preston to Lancaster. So not long, twenty minutes or something and we'll be back home and someone just passed us going like how fast must they be going he's, he's blooming he's, he's going for it too <laughs> someone just passed us and he must have been going 120 mile an hour crazy drivers doing crazy things so yeah we are going home we're gonna do some bits we're gonna put some shelves up we're gonna get things out of the back it's all in the back here and um we're not going to build anything tonight but we're going to like put some shelves up and stuff that we've got and then we're going to go out for tea where are we going for tea mark we we're going to the toby carvery around the corner because we're lazy and don't want to cook anything we're back home we got everything out of the car this here is the collapse unit for uh, the fridge room 
and this one's a little coax unit for the kids bedroom for like a little bedside table for Oliver basically I'll show you what else I've got I might as well turn you around for this it's easier so I'll turn you around so this is what I've got for the kitchen I got two of these glasses these are red wine glasses I'm assuming these are white wine glasses but obviously I'll just have them for red wine because I don't drink white wine and some champagne flutes I got two of each I like these square bottom glasses there's a restaurant in Lancaster that I went to oh it must have been about five six years ago and they had glasses just like this and I've been trying to look for, for them for years like the square bottom glasses and I couldn't find any that I liked and they're very similar to them so I got six glasses I got this glass cup just a normal glass cup I got these like pots that are glass they're good for sauces and stuff so I got two of them I got some more forks knives and spoons the really funky shaped ones so I got them and we got some new knives because we are desperate for some new knives so I've got this one here um, and a little one and like a sort of medium ow just gave myself a paper cut from the packaging it's like a medium sized knife and they've got really nice handles they feel really nice on the handles so I got them and also I got this was the, obviously in the glass boxes I got this um, pot here I thought it'd be nice with my cactus in the pot that the cactus in isn't quite big enough so I might transfer pots to make him higher but I popped him in there for now um, it's just like a glass pot so that's that. I will take you into the other room to show you what I've got in there. So here we've got boxes for the Calax units. Um, a couple for the one that I already have in my hallway. A couple for Oscar's bedroom one. Um, two for Oliver's new like bedside table thing. And um, three for the one in the fridge room. So they're three quid each, so quite reasonable. I got these. They are just the standard... Um, uh, like uh, shelves they are exactly the same as them so I bought some more and they are going up here and they are uh, there was these shelves on these walls you can see the holes there uh, we took them down this could do with being repainted a little bit it looks a bit funny in, on the camera you can't see that in real life you know can you see like this? Where am I pointing? Can you see that? You can't see that in real life. Anyway, um, we're going to put them there in the existing holes. I've got two of them for there. Yeah, it's all the fridge room stuff. It came from the plastic boxes. We're going to go through all these and um, Mark's going to take out what he needs for the shed and stuff and then he's going to use these plastic boxes and shelves for his shed with like things like that in <laughs> we don't need that in the house so we're going to organize this into the new boxes that we've got for the calyx unit and uh, we got these for the kids bedroom um for inside their cupboard we got four of them because i have a feeling that we need some in our bedroom as well but i bought them just in case I already have some of these in my wardrobe so they're just to organize things keep Oscar's clothes away from Alfie's and all that jazz keep them separate inside the wardrobe and here's a bag full of random goodies that I got <laughs> lots and lots of fake plants I went a bit mad on the fake plants but I do like um, Ikea's fake plants I can't find fake plants like them so I got uh, three of them, I think. No, I got obviously three plants. And <laughs> random light bulb. And this is the purchase 
of the century. <laughs> How lovely is that watering can? I thought it would go really well in my sunroom because it's blue and it just, that is honestly the best thing I've ever bought. That is what I got from Ikea, so um, yeah, fun trip out, <laughs> it was really quite cool. We're now going to go put the shelves up here and um, yeah, we're just going to put the shelves up basically. Mark is putting the shelves up. So there's the shelves up, I need to find some stuff to put up there, I've just put them up there for now. Um, this is my new light bulb. I like warm light. And those are my shelves. There's something wrong with that wall. I think we need to go over with a, a roller with the same colour. There's something definitely wrong. When I'm looking at it in person, it doesn't look like that. It's only on the camera. Anyway, we put it up anyway, those shelves. And, um,. It is now Sunday and I've just made myself a coffee in my new IKEA cup. It's a really big cup um, so I could only get like half of it filled with coffee. Um, it's a really big cup you see. Um, yeah I've only just got up really, I haven't had a shower yet. I thought I'd just come down have a coffee, have an orange juice. Um, I'll sit in my sunroom for half an hour just chilling and then we've got lots of jobs to do. Um, we need to do the washing up, no, not the washing up, the washing, the clothes washing basically, hang them up outside. Apparently it's gonna pour down with rain for the rest of the week. So we need to get those clothes dried and washed today out in the sun for them to, uh, so we don't have to spend any money on drying them. We have to build our Calyx unit. This is the room, um, emptied. It's a weird shape, it's like a, triangle over there so it's very strange um we've cleaned it all but the seals um won't come up clean um i don't know who which owner put this in but whoever owned this house before me had um had an obsession with that sealant you know like the sealant that you put in the bathroom and in kitchens and stuff obsessed with sealant you just find it in random places. Um, but it, you can't get the dirt off in there, but it's, it's just a little room. Oh, also, we don't use it for very much, putting like cleaning products in there, so. Yeah, yeah, I've cleaned it as much as I can. Um, in other news, right. Do you remember the whole drama, the drama about this little space that I hated it, it was a space, hated it, had to buy that thing to fill up the space, all that jazz. <sighs> I don't know if I told you, but months and months and months and months and months ago, we're talking about like last year, I asked Mark to measure the fridge, my fridge, to see if it would fit in this hole with that uh, cabinet taken out, you know, the old cabinet. And he said, no, it doesn't fit. So we just was like, okay, then we can't put the fridge there. I measured it yesterday and it fits perfectly. So I don't know what he was measuring, but it fits there. So who votes for me to move the fridge into the main kitchen? Because I do, because I hate my fridge being in that little room. I thought I could move this, this, where the fridge is, and then, you know, store some stuff in there, things that we don't use all the time. Um, and obviously it has a little tabletop so I can put things on in there, on the tabletop. I'll have my storage unit still in there, 
and yeah that becomes more like utility storage and the fridge comes in here because there's nothing worse than going into a separate room for your fridge especially in winter <laughs> when that room turns as cold as outside anyway i am going to have this coffee i'm going to open the doors of the sunroom and yeah i'll see you in a bit so i had a shower um just a quick shower i didn't wash my hair or anything because i washed it yesterday i'm just making myself another coffee and mark is building the first unit but he's using a drill whereas when i built those two on my own i didn't use a drill he's at the bottom yes then we can't see the robotics I um I didn't use a drill. I um I did it all by hand. Another one here to make that's for Oliver, basically. That's it. Is it done? We'll be in a minute. Done. Yay. So here we are. It's in here like this. This area is going to be for the moth and all that sort of jazz and then three boxes are going to be um three squares are going to have boxes in and this one's going to be empty it's going to have like um just cleaning products and stuff in there and obviously we've got the top as well but it lets in more light than that really tall one we could put another two boxes on eventually but i think that'll just make it two in your face i'm not sure we did discuss it or put like a Two boxes on the bottom but we just thought we'd just go for this for now see how we get on so we're getting on with this now organizing all these plastic boxes which contain more of mark stuff than anybody else's yes so mark's gonna be busy i am going to make these boxes these are for my new unit in the uh, fridge room and then um, then i'm going to put the stuff that goes in them in them obviously hi everyone we finished our organizing now i'll show you the little um the little uh collect unit that we've got in here now um in here we've got batteries and um bulbs uh cleaning things like the uh things for the flash mop are in there and that's dog stuff like hair clipping stuff is her uh, foods in there at the minute some treats for her and stuff and the dog doggy leads so yeah that's the little room <laughs> and up here is this cleaning products and this is like extra stuff like uh washing liquid and stuff like that which we don't have um a bulk amount at the minute we've used it also uh that will get full of stuff so i've just um reseeded the grass so i've been raking the grass basically so i'm like really warm hot and bothered me and mark are just about to go out we're going to sainsbury's to pick up to collect the shop that i ordered and get oscar some new shoes and some bin bags we also need some bin bags roll. i've got toilet roll on the shop so yeah, anyway, so we're going to go out now to Sainsbury's and I will see you when we get back. Hi everyone, we've picked up the kids from grandparents' houses and now we're just cooking tea. It's gone very dark in here, it's only well, it's 6 o'clock, so it's usually bright and stuff at 6 o'clock, but it's gone very dark because we're having a thunderstorm. Exciting. It is pouring down with rain and um, there is thunder. I haven't seen any lightning yet. The kids are in the sunroom looking for it. So we're having steak sandwiches. I've got these little crusty rolls and I'm having some mushrooms, uh, steak and um, onion on mine. Um, what do you? I want one small, but I'll have that first one there. Just one. What you yeah, are you sure you don't want any? He's, he's in a bad mood, is Mark. I'm using my new knives that I've got from Ikea. And they are very good.
looks a lot brighter out there than it actually is. At least my grass is being watered.